I know a big thing a lot of people are looking for is how to get out of jury duty. Uh, I figured out what works for me. Just be myself. <laughs> Just be honest. I got called in for jury duty years ago down in Los Angeles, and I was uh, frustrated because I had a bunch of tour dates. I was going to miss them. You know, the trial would have been long, so I sent in a little letter asking to be dismissed, and they didn't care. And they made me come in there, so I'm pretty irritated when I get there. I'm worried about getting stuck on this long, you know, trial. I uh, had nothing to worry about. Turns out all I had to do was just, you know, be myself, honestly answer their questions. And they wanted nothing to do with me. When I got there, I figured out you can ask for another form to be dismissed. And the last question on that form is super direct. It just says, do you think you would make a fair juror? And I was just honest, and I wrote, no. I'm a comic, I get paid to make quick judgments and stick to them, and that's probably what I'm gonna do in your court. <laughs> Which is kind of true. You know, I kind of trust my gut, and I thought that would get me dismissed. No, it didn't. You know, the, uh, I get stuck in a little jury selection pool. Now the defense attorney is asking me questions in front of the defendant, which is always awkward that he's in the room. We're just talking about him like he's not there. Uh, and the judge told us this guy had just served, uh, you know, four years for the attempted murder. He's just been released for uh, the attempted murder of a rival gang member. Now he's being charged with murdering a different rival gang member. So in my head, I'm like, great, I'm in a room with somebody, definitely getting better at murder. And I thought that, because when I saw him, I thought, yeah, he did it. For sure, that's a murderer right there. I thought he was guilty the second I saw him. I still do to this day. <laughs> I'll tell you why. He had a lot of gang tattoos covered about half his face. Face, that's a commitment. To have gang tattoos. Not just tattoos, gang tattoos. Probably half. Half his face covered in gang tattoos. And look, I do realize having gang tattoos all over your face does not make you a murderer. Unless you're charged with murder. then it absolutely probably does. <laughs> the defense attorney, he read my answer to that last question about you know, making quick judgments. And I wrote that as a comic, so I think he thought I was joking. And he goes, have you made any judgments here so far? And I was not joking, and I go, yeah. <laughs> I think he did it. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable, I had to point at him as he stared back at me. <laughs> with his tattooed murder face, probably memorizing the features. And he says, you can't know that. You've heard literally no evidence. And I just said, look at his face. Everybody thinks he did it. And when I said that, I heard some snickering from the other potential jurors. I looked over, I counted at least two little sneaky thumbs up. They wanted to show their support, but not get in trouble with the judge. I had a hot crowd, I was killing in the courtroom. I wanted to put on a good show. <laughs> and he says if the police, or if the uh, prosecution doesn't provide enough evidence to prove him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, you have to find him not guilty. That's his words, you have to. And I just said, no I don't. <laughs> I don't have to. I make bad decisions all the time. <laughs> I can make one here. And he said that would be illegal, and I got nervous. Because I watched a lot of crime shows, but I still don't fully understand what contempt of court means. But I felt like I was treading in that direction. And then I thought, well, you've come this far, let's write it out. I was like, I don't know, maybe it is illegal. You're a lawyer, you know the law better than I do, but I'll tell you this. Just like bad decisions, I do illegal stuff all the time, and I usually get away with it. I was texting about how much I didn't want to be here the whole time I drove here today and no one pulled me over, did they? And he just shook his head, talked to the judge, and two minutes later I was walking in my car a free man. The truth had set me free.